Welcome back, Creative Clothing here, and today I'm going to be posting another video for Roblox Studio. Today, I'm going to be teaching about animations. If you're completely new, then I recommend you go in my description and see my beginner series and my advanced series. The topic for this video, like I said, was animations. So, now you may be wondering, what are animations? Animations are used to enhance the quality of your games, which is sort of a basic description about what it is. But if you've been in a combat game before on Roblox, then you may notice, for example, if you fight or do a punch or a kick, then you can see the animation happen, right? Like your legs move to do the kick or your hand moves to do the punch. That's what an animation is in Roblox Studio. So I'm going to be showing you of how you can make these animations and how to put them onto your character. So what we're going to do is click on plugins. Plugins are like extensions for your game so that you're able to have more access to other features that other people made so that you can be able to create the animations. Well, not specifically for animations, but to add other things that can make it way easier for you to make your games. Two animate two plugins that you should have are Build Rig and Animation Editor. I want you to click on it, Build Rig first. You want to click on Block Rig, and we can see here that we have a rig right here. So what we're going to do with this is first we're going to click on Animation Editor. It t asks us to select a rig to animate. We're going to select the rig that we just created. And now, what we're going to do with this is we're going to delete this and give it a name. We're going to call it Wave. You know what, let's just call it, how about we make it not its head for very simplicity. For simplicity. So, we're going to type Nod. I'm going to need quick animation so that I don't take up too much time. So. On the left side, you can see that after we added the name, we can see the rigs that we're using, which is the dummy here, and nothing else. We can see a play button, and we can see these three dots, which are very important for the video. We'll come back to that. And on the right side, we can see a keyframe to make the animation work. So what we're going to do now is add the first keyframe move this down a bit, we don't want to make it too high. Then I just adjust, adjust it real quick. So here we're going to have access to all the parts and we can use them to make our animation work. I'm going to make its head knot, so we're going to click on the head. I'm going to make it move a bit. Oh, that's very high. When you do Roblox Studio animations, it doesn't have it like super small adjustments that you can make it just does like this so it will look really weird how about I try down let's try down I think it will look better than up it looks kind of weird but so that's also another thing try to make the animations look as good as you can so you try to perfect them I'm not saying that you have to make them perfect in order to publish them that's not at all what I'm saying what I'm trying to say is that you that you want to try to make your animations look nice, but in this video, they're probably not going to look as good because I'm just doing this for very fast. So don't think that you can just that doing something random would work. It's just that for this video, I'm doing something really quick. But I want you to try to make these look as good as you can, and I want to see if what you guys can do. Well, I'm not going to be actually able to see them, but what I mean is that you guys should try to make some better animations than this. That's what I mean. But what we're going to do here is just make it go back up. So it's going to be a quick head nod, so let's put it at uh, 0.5 milliseconds. And, and sorry, I forgot to mention, but these go in milliseconds, so you want to kind of spread them out a bit sometimes and try to get an accurate kind of thing to of where the anim 
the action is going to happen. You may be thinking also that I have to go one millisecond, move it up a bit, another millisecond, move it up a bit, you know. But on this, it fills in the gaps and does the animation part for you. You just need to sort of set up of where the key points are going to be of where the animation is going to move. Like this. You can make this start off here. Let's try again. Hmm. You want to start it off up here. There. That should work. Yeah. There we go. Now we have a nice animation. I didn't expect it to look that nice, but now we got it. So now that we have an animation, we click on these buttons right here, and we're gonna go and click export. Once we click export, something should load right about now. Maybe I didn't click it. I'm not sure. Takes a minute or two to load. I don't know why it's not loading the export right now. There we go. Now it loaded in. So you can see that this is the asset configuration. So we're going to give it the title nod. Uh, we can add a description. So let's say I'm nodding. Okay. Nodding. Now when we click submit, it should say sub successfully submitted. And we can see this ID here. We can just copy it by clicking this little copy picture. ID copied. We can close this up. Don't need this either. We can delete that. Okay. Now that we've removed those, we can go to start it player. I already have this set up so that I wouldn't take up too much time in this video. So we have local script and an animation. So you want to create a local script inside of starter player scripts. So we want to click the plus, and you want to click on local script up here. But I already have one, so I'm not going to click it. Then when you have local script, you want to click on the plus and click animation. Then you would have an animation in here, but I already have one set up. Now, inside of the animation, you'll see animation ID. You want to click inside of that box that's empty. You want to do control V, and then we have the ID put inside. You can click anywhere on the properties tab and you'll see that this turns into sort of like a link. But it's not really a link, but it's just used. They just set it up in that way so that they're able to play the animation when we write in the script. Now, inside the script, double click. I already have it set up too so that, again, I don't waste too, too much time. I'm going to go through it properly so that you guys can understand though. So, local animation, script.animation. So, this is getting a variable for the animation key right here. Next, we're doing wait three seconds. We want to just wait a, a couple seconds so then we can actually see it run because sometimes it loads in too early when we're still having that loading screen. So, then we can't see it. So, we're going to make it wait three seconds. Or you can make it as wait as much as you want. Local. Local player is game the players that local player, so we're just getting the local player. Then local char is player dot character. Char is short for character. Local hume is equal to character dot humanoid. So we're getting the humanoid. Hum hume is short for humanoid. When you have these four variables in, you want to go and enter. Well, you don't have to enter, but what I mean is that you have to type local animation track equal to humanoid local animation, and then you want to write the animation name, which is animation. You just want to type the variable. Next, you want to type animation track colon play. And when you load into the game, you should see your animation work. I'm going to go in. You saw it move, right? I think you saw it move. We can make it wait a second so that you can see it in the right angle so that I can actually move my camera in the right position. 
Make it wait. Uh, nine seconds. Well, that's specific. Let's just do ten. Let's click on play. Okay, you can wait a second. I can turn it. And should there we go. It's that. So that is a little animation that we made just together pretty quick. And yeah, that's how you make an animation. It's pretty simple, depending on which level you are at. But for this, it's just a couple vari variables and then just animation track play. That's pretty much it. So the hardest part would probably be animating it and making it look how you wanted it to be. But besides that, that's how you make an animation pretty simple. So this is the end of the video and I hope you have an amazing day or week or night, whatever time phase you're at watching this video, but I hope you have an amazing time for wherever your time zone you're at and I'll see you next Sunday with